Hi everyone, we just spent two awesome weeks on the tropical paradise that is Komotes Islands in the Philippines. Watch our adventure here. This is the new ferry, Mactan to uh, Komotes, Komotes Island. Island. As you can see, it's been raining, but there we are, almost there, almost there. Yeah, we are. We've landed, and it's raining, so we have to be on the GoPro. Oh man, we're getting off, but it's GoPro style, so it's in my hand. <laughs> but Ricky's gonna take it. So the GoPro is working. Our first use of the GoPro. Awesome. <laughs> getting off and this is the awesome ship we came on standing in puddles don't stand in puddles guys <laughs> awesome because when you arrive at the port there's not really anything here look at how beautiful the water is <laughs> you guys get the color of that water it is actually stunning how stunning is that and the, the clouds and the palm uh, trees and we're gonna have to get ricky's camera out <laughs> hang in there guys oh. that is truly stunning Dramatic. Right, so we're just going to proceed up this way. Security yeah. seems to tell us to do that. Yeah, yeah. It looks like there are lots of motorbikes and things. Okay, cool. <laughs> but we actually pre planned and ordered ourselves a scooter. Hopefully. To actually be delivered here. Oh, no way. Come have a look. Oh, look Come have a look at this. <laughs> Welcome, Ricky and Brian, to Komotes Island. Oh, wow. Enjoy. Hello! Oh, thank you Look so much! Look at that! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Welcome to vlog! Thank you! Good afternoon! Good afternoon! Hello, hello! Everyone, everyone's got, you can rent scooters here right from right, the Right, yeah. pre plan like what we did. <laughs> or you can. Or you can. But yeah, there's guys here willing to take you anywhere on the island. <laughs> yes, up here there's some sort of, uh, I think the tickets for the shipping when you want to come back. Okay, so you can get your tickets here and a few places where you can get some uh, snacks. <laughs> Hello! Hello. <laughs> This is Libby. 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 We actually contacted her on, um, Facebook. on Facebook and you can organize this and she's been so helpful. And she's amazing. She, she just replies to you Ricky all the time. Ricky says if she could, she would employ her straight Definitely, away. Definitely, I would employ her. She you. is that good. <laughs> so we go with this one. Now we need to figure out how to get on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm looking at the size of the seat and the size of my and ass. And look what we need to carry as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Slowly, slowly. <laughs> that side of the road, that side. <laughs> I'm still not getting on that scooter. <laughs> There's no chance. It's going to be a lot more fun than it looks. <laughs> Took me so nervous, and I didn't even know which right right uh -huh. side of the road to drive on. Brian's uh, going to attempt to find Santiago White Beach, and Ricky's going to go on a And meet me classical. at the Bay Resort, yeah, Bay, Bay Resort. Resort, which we haven't even booked. This is the first time we've never yeah. had accommodation. Okay. And I'm going to go on a tricycle for on 300 yeah, with one. both of the bags. All right, cool. <laughs> so I'm in the trike yeah. with the stuff.
there's like lots of chickens running around. It's pretty awesome. At the jungle. Right, so Brian has to stop and get gas. This is a first. <laughs> Money. Yeah, yeah. Hold them. Is that full? Full, yeah. How much is full normally? Uh, uh, you're not going to put them on that. You're not going to put them. You're not going to put them. You're not going to put them. He said it's going to take about 200. Full 200. Exactly. So wow. The man is a genius awesome. at petrol. <laughs> And we haven't even booked. Yeah, we don't even know if we get to stay here. <laughs> we might have to talk on the motorbike. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So luckily we hadn't booked, but right, they're just, awesome. Yeah, so we they got a room. In. Check the prices out. Uh -huh, guess which one we took. Yeah, yeah. Cheapest ones on a budget today. It was an expensive travel day. A restaurant and there's two pools one is only open on friday saturday sunday and we're like how beautiful is this place though we'll show you around properly as soon as we put these heavy bags in the room mine's getting carried i feel so privileged i feel so guilty <laughs> <Up today>. Hello. <laughs> thanks guys <laughs> oh wow <gasps> And that's the beach! Oh man, hang on, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You guys have got to see this properly. Hang in there, we'll put hang our stuff there, down. Guys. Thank you so much, Thank what's you your so name? Uh, Rose. Rose. Rose, Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rose, we'll see you around. Oh my word, guys, how awesome. Bring that's your bag in. Magical, yeah. Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> right. Come on in, come on in. Check out the room. It's like a wow. It's a hotel room, so no kitchens or anything. Uh -huh. Got twin beds. See me can push them together. <laughs> Mirror, a little desk, and of course, a bathroom. A massive bathroom. I can hear myself echo in here. <laughs> but awesome. wait for it. You got to see where it's located. Everything is out no. here. It's all out here. Oh, the sun's gone away now. <laughs> and just like that. Uh-huh. Holiday beach mode. <laughs> and as luck would have it, we have a holiday beach. <laughs> There's a palm tree growing out of your head, Rick. Look at this. Oh my word. And the sun just broke out. Oh man. This is our view. Yeah. Get a bit of fan on. Mm. Oh, hot and sweaty, but ice cold beer will sort that out. <laughs> and that view doesn't hurt either. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, it matches your top. Oh, yeah. Right, so Santiago menu. Oh, some good looking things on that. The beers, the beverages. Oh, they also do burgers. Pizza! Mmm! And rice. And rice. Is rice life. is life. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a um, tricycle driver. <laughs> okay, no, I got myself a scooter today. Oh, so. I know. 
so cool. Uh, you can take passengers. Of course. <laughs> Man, we got so lucky. That that ferry was coming and the water was pouring down. We're like, how are we going to get out of here? We got one little umbrella, our bags on waterproof. Bang against the side, rain yeah. gone. Yeah, we stepped onto the commotion and the commotion went, welcome, it welcome like, Brian and Ricky. Welcome Brian and Ricky. <laughs> and then someone else said, had the sign out. Uh, but the rain me. actually oh, said, welcome to the commotion. Welcome. So and it's amazing. like, it's so awesome because we were so nervous yeah. about this trip. We so genuinely we still are. We, we are because what we've done is we've taken our two big suitcases and turned yeah. them into one big backpack and one small backpack. As you can see, the clothes are still a bit crumpled. Yeah. <laughs> Have to warm, warm them up. Warm them. I'll, I'll go and swim in a minute. But the whole thing about this is like we, we're changing our lives. Yeah, we downsized. Is, we've downsized. We're backpackers. We backpackers now. We're going to explore and we, we're doing the Komotis. We're not doing a short stint on the Komotis, but we are going to a lot of different places. Yes. And we'd love for you guys to follow along with us because. We're excited and nervous at the same time yeah. because can we actually do this? Yeah, we're going to be traveling, but we're also going to be looking at like, could you live here permanently? Could, could you live here? Could digital you, nomad here. Digital nomad. Retire. It's, retire, yeah. All these things, we, we want to look at that. And so we need to go and explore quite a lot of it. Yes. And uh, we know a lot of you want to come and do this as well. Exactly. And you so, also might not be spring chickens. And, and <laughs> might also be as nervous as we are because we yes. really are that nervous. <laughs> so anyway. I'm not shaking at all. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to a new adventure and thanks for walking us so nicely, Kamotis. Show them the beach. Oh, this is a beautiful sunset beach. Wow. <laughs> Started the pool, uh huh. Reggae band behind me. Super cool. That means, uh huh, we're at uh, Nina's Grill, famous. Santiago Wet Beach. And we're on the beach, it's a bit dark out there, but we're hoping to get something awesome. It's so cool and amazing. There's a sea out there. Mm -hmm. so, Filipino bands play all night long, but it takes them forever to warm up. Yeah, they gotta get it just right, eh? <laughs> it's gotta be perfect. But it's okay just like here at Red Nina's, Horse. Red Horse is 140. 140 for a liter. And we'll take a look at the menu now. Thanks for you. <laughs> So Nina's grill. She's got some classic meals, combo meals, water, drinks, chili crabs. Wow, and grill looks so good. Here comes the good stuff. It's always work. Yeah. Garlic prawn. Good. Loads of things to look forward to. They have the boat, it's right out there. Yeah. There's dolphin watching and party boat. It's awesome. But this, this was delicious. Sorry, sorry. Get yourself some water and beer. And milk awesome. powder. Tea or milk. <laughs> awesome. Brian's super duper worried because those are our stairs, and apparently the tide is coming in very fast. Two meter tide, guys. <laughs> Morning tea. It's very, very hot because they don't have cold drinking water. But they do have hot water.
Come on, Rick. Time to get <laughs> on the scooter. I do not want to go on the scooter. <laughs> she is so panicked. I am so nervous. <laughs> go walk. We'll see how it goes. I'm not holding out hope much. Loads and loads of stairs. <laughs> and some of them are really big. Yeah. <laughs> this is our new view. Because we went on this. <laughs> Terrified. But she made it. <laughs> Man. This is San Diego White Beach at low tide. Yeah. So different. There's so much beach. But it looks like there's something awesome down yeah, there. Yeah, it does. Look at those overhanging rocks and stuff. It's like Bali. Here's our breakfast option. So basically you just need to choose your your topper. Hmm, mm, I'm kind of partial to corned beef, but I'm not sure. Yeah, what to choose? I don't know. <laughs> but how's this breakfast spot? Uh-huh. I mean... Yeah. Wow. Checking if we've got Tocino. Tocino. We're not sure what it is. We just... We're planning on eating it. Yeah. <laughs> you have? Yeah. What okay. is it? Uh, it's a fork. Oh, okay, oh. brilliant. Okay, then I'll get the beef one, corned beef. Corned beef. So, one see, one yeah. And one set of beef. Yes. Awesome. Sunny side egg. Okay. And I'll have coffee. What do you want, Milo? Yeah, yeah, I'll have Milo. Yeah, because it comes with the uh -huh. breakfast. Thank okay. you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man, the hotel from this angle with the beach. You can actually play beach volleyball. But I want to go check out this undex cut stuff. And just like that, it started raining. <laughs> run, Brian, run. Oh, the sun is out. But there's still a storm there. Wow. Get your coffee, it comes like that. Yeah. Looks like coffee, yeah. It's complete. It's just gonna finish. It's packaging. You'll figure it out. Ooh. Oh, it's like the powder that turns into coffee when you pour it in. It's like those three in one, or maybe two in one. We'll have to see if it's got sugar. I think it's gonna have sugar. Actual Hi. Milo. Awesome. <laughs> Open your packet of Milo, right? Revenge. <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> Near the edge sometimes. The non non look like that from the top ones. Am I open? Awesome. Milo doesn't come with the milk tin. <laughs> it's just chocolate. Well, look at how much you get. I know. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Chocolatey breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Look at that, it's steaming oh, hot. Wow. Oh, wow, get stuck in. Look at that, it looks so juicy. and. It, it looks, it's like rich with oil and stuff. Look at all the oil in it. Oh, yeah. You just want the gravy to, uh, the, the rice to soak up that gravy. <laughs> it is quite hot. I'm never quite sure how to do this. I'm just going to... Yeah, just skin it in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Good. A, a slow-cooked beef. Mm. Mm. With oil and everything, it's just yum. We got a whole new thing, but we got this runny egg. Oh, look, oh, look at that, like, sticky sweet bacon. Is that what it is? <laughs> the mouth watering now. <laughs> no. mm. Sticky sweet. Mm. Not actually too sweet. It's very, very savory. It's really nice. It's like sweet bacon. You'll love that. Okay, like sweet bacon. Well, maybe you should put some egg with it. Mm-hmm. The money shot. The money shot. Got a new thing. Rice money shot. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> That's the money shot. <laughs> money shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not, not quite as good as yours. Didn't ooze as much. I'll grab some of that and the rice and that. Oh. No, that's the money taste shot. <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Big crab, buddy. Mm. 
don't see him. He's not moving at all. I'm convinced you can't see him. You're a big boy. Leave the book, Graham. Oh, you see the footage I got. Oh man, how awesome is this the undercut? And then that one actually has an umbrella right on top of it. Uh huh. Completely over the undercut. Wow. Pretty cool with the undercut. But they actually go quite far in. And it's quite deep in there. Oh, oh man. Wow. Oh man, the rock above me. And it's quite something else. I mean, look at that one over there. It's actually got trees growing on it. Tiny little island with trees on it. I wonder if they count that as part of the 70,000 islands they have. Oh, trees will grow anywhere. Hey? There's no sand there. Whoa. Completely private beach. Just sitting there. Wow. Epic breakfast. And and it was like under three dollars. But epic, epic. And check out the view. That's what we had while eating breakfast. Sure. Feel free to feel jealous now. I'll wait. Is it on? Mm -hmm. Okay, off we go. We're actually on the scooter, everyone. This is proof that we are on it and heading along. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not terrifying at all. <laughs> really being held onto by one hand. Hopefully the sound comes out nicely. Because of the wind and everything. Anyway, we gotta put it away now because there's a bump coming up. Look at this! Female turkey and male turkey and he, he's not happy with us. Yeah, right in front of us. As if being on this back wasn't terrifying enough. <laughs> yeah, we're on a back, guys. Pretty awesome on the scooter. We're really getting more of the hang of it at the moment, which is pretty cool. And then it's kind of awesome to have this freedom. And, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, pretty impressive. Other people have had more practice. <laughs> well, we have made it to Mangodlong. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so it's 30 to come in? Yes, sir. And the pool? And the pool is 100. 100. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Let's check, go check out it the out. pool, though. Look at the whole place. It's beautiful. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I must say, it's something I really appreciate so far about Komoti's Island is they don't rip you off. No, it's they a tourist don't. destination that's not a rip off. It is. Everything it's is brilliant. Is okay, you know. It's one of my. It's I'll one of my what, checklists. What the cost of a, br a beer is. Then yeah, we'll yeah. Let you know. <laughs> Almost infinity out with the palm trees, and there's a lookout place as well. Wow. How awesome is this? And if you're at home and you're not here, there's this clip for you. You can put yourself here with a green screen. Or there. Or there. <laughs> so if you're staying at um, the place where we stay, Santiago Bay, you just have to bring your room key and you get in here for free. Yeah. And you can even use the pool. Can we use the pool? Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. I mean, seriously? Wow. Men God Long Rock. <laughs> with fishes. What did you spot there, Rick? It is, it's so fine. Wow. Talcum powder, guys. Don't buy it, come to the beach. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Look at my fishy friend. Did you catch him or did he catch you? No, I think, oh, he got me, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, it's awesome. Oh man, we got some waves. Yeah. Wow. And look at the color of the sea. Oh man. And then in the middle of it, there's a giant octopus. I suppose during high tide you can. S a giant octopus. Uh, no, 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 not you, Rick. <laughs> behind you, look behind, look out behind you. Oh, wow. There's a fly. Yeah. 
slides into, well, if there was water, it is a bit low tidy. Just to keep. There actually stairs up. Oh, I suppose it makes sense if you're going to slide down, you're going to have to have some way of getting up. Giant octopus up ahead. This is closed off. But you can walk up here and look down there. It's all roped off, unfortunately. Uh, probably because it's low tide. Yeah, I think that only runs in high tide. Someone stupid will go slide down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Oh, the tide is coming in. Oh, it is so clear. Oh, we got some fishing going on. Chase them all into the middle and scoop them up in the net. They're quite wiry, those fishy, those. Saw them swimming right out. Good to see. Oh, one or two only. Uh, oh, no, there's a couple. Oh, they're about 20. Oh, wow. Oh, my eyes deceiving me or something awesome about to happen for someone. Delivery? Oh, awesome. That is so cool. Oh wow. How awesome is this? It is, I'm just gonna call it the selfie spot. We got like a million selfies. It's just everywhere you look, it's just pristine. Yeah, out to sea, perfect. On the rock, with the octopus, perfect. Mm -hmm. Guy bringing beers, perfect. <laughs> it's like, does it get any better? Ice in the Thank glasses. So oh man. Welcome to Komoti's Cooler. Glass of ice, San Miguel, and Sprite. Mix. <laughs> One time Kamoti's cooler. Looks brilliant. Awesome. Cheers, everyone. Look at this. This is how you do it. Getting tips. Look how great this food looks. I went to the ranch. This is the resort right here. Uh, looks better on the other side, as you have well saw. <laughs> Oh, and there's something else up there, BBR. But have a look here. You can actually rent a motorbike or a scooter here. And it's a shop. So the jeepney, it's a whole day tour. Yeah, it's a whole day tour. Um, we have seven destinations, sir. Okay, oh, awesome. A lot of cave. Oh, I'm Chi Chi, sir. Chi Chi. Yes. Right next door to the very helpful Chi Chi. <laughs> We've got Komoti stuff. 2.30 for Komoti's shirt. Okay, awesome. Wow. Okay. <laughs> He's worried he'll get a parking ticket if he doesn't park in the right place. He's so sweet. <laughs> You're never sure. <laughs> I think this feels alright. There's tons of stuff around here. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so we've got some Lechon looking stuff there. Buy one, take one. Snack hub, Consuelo food shop, Consuelo bake shop, but I see juice over there, so we're gonna go try and get some juice first. I looks like the school's just let out. Uh -huh. Some great looking foods here. Really busy. Everyone's lining up for their lunch. Bulaman. Bulaman. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that little bit of butter. And some sugar. Yeah. Oh, man, those look so good. As soon as you opened it, it smelled so amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Are these closer. Do, do you squish your hair a bit from the helmet? Uh, I've got helmet hair. Yeah. Look better? Yeah, yeah. The, so yeah. yeah cool. I wanted to try this because it looks the same go as my it, cooler. We could fill our cooler up with it. Good. Mm. Oh. I think that's what the spoon's for. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, yeah. Hot cakes. Oh, it smells so good. It's so fluffy. Yeah, and when you come stack up on the hotcakes, get a big pile like that, only five pesos each. 
There we go, we got another shop here where they got the hanging rice. But they also have free parking. <laughs> and the Wi-Fi thing. Shoes and some shirts and backpacks in case you need another backpack. Oh, like a travel backpack. Baked goods. Look at these. You can see them baking in the back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But those are all trays of baked goods that smell so good. I must admit, I drove the scooter down here. I'm pretty sure. And I don't remember this at all. That is how nervous I must have been. How cool is this wooden house, right? It's very cool, and the street art. Oh yeah, look at the street art. <laughs> Quick shout out to this artist. That is brilliant street art. St. Rogue's Parish. I think it's St. Rogue. That's pretty cool. Seven for 100 pesos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the size of them. Yeah, yeah, this is the size of uh, 15. Whoa. Okay, there's very little times in your life where you're going to get seven pieces of chicken for 100 pesos. <laughs> Breast. Oh, this is actually a proper shop. Hi. So you got all your vegetables and you can buy some things. Oh, and look here, you can get some ice cold stuff as well as pork. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Yep. 55 for a cheeseburger and it looks just like a cheeseburger or 65 with an egg. Hi! If you buy one burger, you can take one. Wow! wow. <laughs> Thanks, I'm nice cold water and some, cold and some water extra and ice. Some ice. And so this is the ice. <laughs> <laughs> when you got a grinding machine. And there we go. Now this is what you do, you come and get your water and you get some ice. Thank you so much. Here's their water with ice. <laughs> so they got guidelines at this intersection of where you can go to. Oh, look at these beautiful palm trees. We're about to go into a, a jungle oasis. Yeah, that's beautiful. We're actually looking for a cave. We're on the scooter. <laughs> In case you thought we were running really yeah. fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this big area. I think it, it's like, wow, it's like a homestead. They've got cows and everything. They actually climb the coconut trees, they cut... Oh, here we go! Because he's already... Oh, he's chopping down the coconuts! And this guy's actually climbing. And then he shouts that people look out. And it's like a whole plantation, they're keeping it clear. And there's the guy cutting them with the axe. Oh, he made it all the way up, I should have been watching him. Um, I'm in the way now, I'm in the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whoa! These things, no wonder they, they, they actually, whoa, quite deadly when they come down. This is the way to do it, cut yourself some footholds. <laughs> this is how you move a coconut. Uh-huh, yeah, hook in, on it goes. You just hit it with the axe and all the water comes out. And you know how much you pay for that water on the beach? <laughs> Wild coconut water. Oh. So that's how you do it. You just take it like this. Uh huh. That's got a camera in. Oh, it's oh. really yummy. <laughs> <laughs> There's the guy removing the flesh. Yeah, so the guys go up, they pull them down, chop them up, and then the guy comes. They peel the coconut out, they let it dry in the sun a little bit, and then, look at him, he's burning something in here. It's a proper fire. Hi. And he's got these things that he's collecting, and then he's putting them in there. Yeah, lots of smoke, and how beautiful is this coral thing, and on top is coconut. This is coconut. What do you suppose he's making? Besides smoke. <laughs> I stood downwind. Don't stand downwind. <laughs> when he puts water in the fire. <gasps> wow. I've never seen this before. This is actual coconut being smoked. Smoked coconut. What do you use smoked coconut for? I look at this. She's looking for a small piece that I can just try. Very small. Oh, thank you. Well, it's a family business, so they're, they're drying the coconut. Yeah. Well, look at that. 
It's like dried and smoked and it's quite quite stiff. I assume it gets very dry. Yeah. Wow. Right now it's only partially dry. <coughs> what does it taste like? Smoky. Hey, what an awesome experience. Mm -hmm. That's why you've got to take a scooter so you can just come around, <laughs> have a look, and find something magical like this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Let's continue. Hopefully nothing coming. Oh. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Okay, but the turning, it says a little bit ahead of us. We could have taken that one, but it's the next turning. <laughs> Oh, there we are. It says from this side. Have a look. I don't know if you guys can see. It says the cave. Cool. You just have to come from the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're going here. Yeah. Onto ditch. And then back onto road. Oh, they, they just haven't swept it properly, but it okay. is concrete. Ram, ram, woo! <laughs> Paradiso. I'm just gonna go park on the dirt here. Really peaceful. Let's go in. 100 per person. Oh, I'm a kid. I'm a kid, so it's 50 for me, huh? <laughs> She's saying that. <laughs> it looks like there's a restaurant as well. We'll have to come check. Very important to have a look in the corner there. What? Ice cold drinks. Oh, ice cold drinks. I'm not going to mention anything, but <laughs> look below. Yeah, what a beautiful bird. I'm just going to get into the picture so you can see how big it is. It's massive. It's fantastic. We've got some water here, but I think literally this is the cave here. Oh. Yes, it goes down into the ground there. Oh, it's quite dark. Have a look. Paradise Cave, it says. Paraiso. Oh. There's no D's. Paraiso. <laughs> Steps are okay. Yeah. We've got handrails. And this is the rock. It is cracking a little bit there above Ricky's head, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> keep going, keep going, Rick. Into the depths of the earth we go. But they've got quite good lighting down here. Cave swimming, there's water. Look at that clear water. Oh man. There's here's Ricky coming down. Watch your head there, Rick. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a bat. There's a bat. Oh, look, there's a bat. Oh, Where's the little guy? <laughs> <laughs> Breathing cold. <laughs> a little bit colder than I thought. <laughs> wow. These waters are awesome. So I'm getting this piece of footage because I took the GoPro and it seemed to die. <laughs> Too beautiful for the GoPro, but that water is crystal clear. And down there, it gets deeper, a lot deeper. I'm sure people have been diving down there. Take them to the dry. <laughs> Brian shakes the water out of the GoPro. I mean, it's full of water. <laughs> Waterproof my ass. And it started raining. Luckily we're not still in the cave because that might be scary. <laughs> no, it'd probably be awesome. But we probably wouldn't even know. Yeah. It'll probably flood. Uh-huh. Yeah. The GoPro completely broken and it's not in the budget to replace it. But if you want to see some action footage in underwater, you can help us out by buying us a coffee so we can replace it. Greatly appreciated. <laughs> Back to the scooter. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, look, you can actually come by truck as well. Yeah. They do tours of the whole island. It's 2,000 or 1,000 depending on which tour you do. All right, so we're going to take the road from the caves through to San Francisco, but it's kind of become dirt, so we're like, no. Okay, oh. fix my shoe. And my shoe. <laughs> yeah, I know, I put my shoe down and it popped off, but, you know, because they, they made like this, they just popped uh -huh. back in. Oh, awesome. Anyway, I've seen these on the side of the road and I've been meaning to oh, show you guys. Are they? They're like a basketball-sized fruit. You'll never believe what we found. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Oh, man. <laughs> He's a happy man. Oh man, why wouldn't you be if you had that? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's good, thank you. Yeah, man. Anyway, that one, 8,000. Yeah. So you can kind of pick it up. I don't think our scooter will handle it. <laughs> 
Yep. That's a big fat mummy pig. And a chicken on a stick. I think it's real. <laughs> The road has dissolved a little bit in places. Yeah, if you come around the other way. But you did get a glimpse of the sea from time to time. And how awesome is that basketball court? Could there be a better yeah, place no, to have sure. one? Oh man, still on the back. Mm -hmm. GoPro still soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> but the road is, well, interesting, let's say. So it's time to get home for a beer. Into this fish. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mm. oh, awesome. It's really soft and juicy. Oh. It's like the fish skin, but weirdly, it, it, because of the way it's cooked, it's actually like pork crackling, but not, not as hard. Oh. It's soft, fatty, and tasty. I must say, this fish is absolutely gorgeous. The meal it keeps on giving. Mm. <laughs> and our iced tea's arrived. Mm. Thank you. Look at the ice in that tea. Mm. Pig face. Actually making sisig. This is the actual thing. There's a pig's ear that he's cutting up. And he's got the rest of the face here. Mm. Oh, wow. So they do make this fresh here. Now it's quite a small calamansi, but oh, they're just <laughs> remarkable. Just... Well done. <laughs> so cute. But wait for it. Comes the end of the bag. Should I just toss it up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come around. And this is our new room. Beauty. Got a nice big double bed. And full length mirror, table to work at, and a cool bathroom. The coolest thing is straight out here. Look at this. Oh yeah, with that view. This Making is the laugh. The Komoti's cooler. Uh -huh. For those who don't know, it's Red Horse and Sprite. Playing the drone. Look up tropical paradise in the dictionary. I think that's pretty much what you'll get. We're on our way to find the only ATM on the island. <laughs> Check out the road, guys. Adventurous. And big trucks coming towards you and it's like, you can't avoid them or the holes. You know, you've got a choice. Hit the truck or hit the holes. Municipal Hall. <laughs> We're lost. Yeah. But there are lots of motorbikes here, so mm. maybe we just stop here and have a look. I notes about these helmets. Oh, yeah? They're very short. Oh. <laughs> My head is not big. Oh. <laughs> there's tons of food here. My lens. Oh, there's more toilets. These are like proper toilets. I'm just going to go have a look quickly. Oh, yeah, you can get your charcoal. And, uh, well, bananas, I'm going to call them. They're actually cooking right here. Oh, it looks really good. Do you want to get some breakfast? Because yeah, look at those yeah. eggs. And they have a place to sit. So let's go in and get, get some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Wow. Oh. Beautiful Oh, these look great. I don't have too much food. I'm just going to try some little. Okay. So your noodle, definitely. Yes. Oh, wow, chicken livers. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. So I'm getting the eggplant. Only one? Just one and an egg, egg. please. Okay. And just a little bit of the fish. Try. I just want to try it. I need you to try one. Just one, just okay. one to try and a little bit of the gravy. Now, I do not think you could possibly find a better breakfast than all of this. Wait for it, here comes the caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. What is your name? My name is Sylvia. Sylvia, thank you so much, Sylvia. Sylvia. <laughs> oh, it's quite a great vibe behind us, everyone wishing each other Merry Christmas. There's nowhere near Christmas, guys. <laughs> I'm going to try a little bit of this pan, but then I spice some great looking vinegar. Ooh. Good. Mm. That looks like pure chilies. Yeah. <laughs> mm. A little bit. Oh, that looks
looks like sweet and sour. Mm. That looks so beautiful. And the now. noodles were so beautiful and garlicky. And you're gonna have to retake all the photos. No, it just mix it in. Yeah, photos, photos. And photos and done. Photos <laughs> Time to eat. <laughs> Yeah, I really love these. That you get these soft noodles, and then you get these which got a bit more chew to them, although they're um, smaller. They're really cool. Love it. Got yeah. my awesome breakfast, which is the tutong tulong. <laughs> I think I think it's Close. an eggplant omelet, mm -hmm. and my egg, which I'm going to smash on top of it in a minute. But I had to try one of these little fish. Go for it. Let's see. Oh, look at that! It just flaked off. Oh, wow. Excuse me as I put it That's in there. <laughs> Fill it. <laughs> Tastes like pilchards. Ah. Mm. Oh. Looks lovely. It's not overcooked. Oh, you have to taste it to know. So hot. Mm. Oh man, give me a crispy cracker, and that is like pate on top. Look oh. at that. Mm. Let's get some toast. Oh yeah, mouth is watering. <laughs> Just gorgeous bean sprout. <laughs> putting an egg on an omelette. This is my, my vision, my vision. Because this is like the bread of the Philippines. Drizzle mm. a little bit on top. Oh, oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Uh-huh. Okay, it's not running as much as I thought it would, but... But it's gorgeous. Oh. My mouth is watering so much, Rick. So is mine from the chili. <laughs> 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 but you see this chili, it comes straight out of this bottle, right? Sylvia's so special vinegar. And and when you bite it, it explodes with vinegar in your mouth. Oh. And then the heat just hits, it just rams itself home. It is addictive. It is addictive. <laughs> I can drink that now. Sylvia just keeps on cooking. Got some great ingredients here. That looks like big pieces of ginger. <laughs> oh, wow. Into a pot. What is that? Beef. Beef liver. Oh man, and that's what it ends up looking like. Oh wow. Oh wow. If you find yourself here in town proper, <laughs> in San Francisco, San Francisco, of course, come visit Sylvia. This food is out of this world awesome. Thank you so much. It's still on video mode. Let's go. <laughs> Great breakfast, let's get going. We're crossing over to another island. Awesome. This is technically a bridge, except we went over the bridge. If you guys can see us. I'm gonna go across to here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Now we're getting into a bit of a tropical area now. Tall palm trees. I come back with a Oh, it's so steep. They actually said check your brakes. Uh -huh. So we checked our brakes and we're still checking them. <laughs> now we're going to get back up here. <laughs> we could have to get off and push. Yeah, look at this church. Yeah, wow. I don't know what's going on. You're going too slowly. Yeah, but that's a uh, con. LBC Kimotis, that's probably where the ATM is. Yeah, let's try that. We're going to find parking. Welcome to Naga, my helmet on. I don't know how to get it off. Welcome to Pora, <laughs> the only place that has an ATM. And they have two of them. Awesome. Let's see if they work. Right, so we came all the way from here, here through San Francisco, to Pora. Because the only ATM is here. Well, it is the only ATM. Uh huh. And, and our MasterCard didn't work, but our Visa did. So, so yeah. be careful if you've only got MasterCard, no yeah. cash for you. Uh huh. We're gonna head down this way because it's the port and we'll pretend we came in by ferry. <laughs> Boat videos do well. So this is the town of Pora. Oh, you've got a smart load shop here. And it says a pharmacy. 
There's a lady with a printer, so I assume if you need your ferry tickets printed. This would be a good place to come. Oh, there's quite a lot of printing available. Right, it's going to find out how much the t-shirting is. Printing on t-shirts. I don't think you need your whole ticket printed on your t-shirt, but it could be quite funny. Actually, if you're going on one of those long-term ferries, get it on your t-shirt because you have to pull it out all the time. <laughs> I think this is the public market. Oh, wait, what's he doing? Fried chicken. Ho, ho, ho. Look at those massive pieces, proper wings and everything. And he's actually making a chair, you can see by the flower. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's got the noise. Not quite 500 mil, but I think it's 250. Awesome. Is it cold? Well, let's go in and see the market. So we're starting here with some clothes and shoes, which seems to be standard. Oh, peanuts. Oh. The guy's catching fish and chicken there. And coconut wrapped things. Coconut. What is it? 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 Actual camote. How much? How much is it? Ten. Ten. We're definitely getting a camote. Camote, that's the island. Camotes. <laughs> Here we go. No idea what this is. <laughs> we will see. Oh, look at that. I don't know, open it some more, Rick. Okay, it's probably mashed sweet potato. In. Does it smell sweet? No, it smells like potato. It smells like potato. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Brad? <laughs> it's sweet potato. Ah, awesome. It's not as sweet as I expected. I haven't yeah, made it very sugar. <laughs> the vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, wow. When you come to Komotis, get Komotis. It's named after it. <laughs> and it tastes awesome. Something else they grow here. I think this is tobacco. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they actually probably roll cigars here. Is this mahi mahi? Look at that. Pandawan. She says panda pandawan. Pandawan. Okay. Good looking pork product. How much? Two seventy one kilo. Two seventy one kilo. Oh, and ribs. Yeah, it's only 250. 250. Okay, now we're moving into the veg section. So we got eggs straight up and fish. Still not sure what you do with the fish. Wow, I've missed bananas. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks, and you? Nice looking fish. Still not sure what you do. What do you do with the fish? Do you know? Fried. You fry it. And also we grill also. Fry and grill. So you grill these ones and you fry the smaller ones. Yeah. Mm. Great looking veg here. And it's just like all interspersed. Is that flour? Sugar. Sugar. What's the grill? Oh, it's useful on a small island. Yeah. Fix your watches. Wow. But is this the yeah, so if you need your batteries as well. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, same to you. Thank you. What's this? Where they. Oh, okay. Driver's name. Oh, these are the driver's names. Oh, okay, awesome. You know how to play this? No, what's it called? Dama. Dama? Yeah. Wow. See, I have no idea. We'll have to watch someone play it sometime. Uh -huh. We've got a guy who wants a shout out. So, are they giving a shout out to Brian Discovers World? Shout no. Out <laughs> Thanks, guys. A tourist information center. Let's go see if they got some information or if it's just air conditioned. 
Oh, they got the whole island. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, we're so in we there. This Thanks. map is on this bike. Only this okay. part. We have Rock, on Maktang Beach, next Barangay, Kalkagan. We have Flying Fish Resort. Oh wow, the guys are really, really helpful here and it's air conditioned, so feel free to pop in and I'll show you all around. <laughs> Thanks guys. Ah, the door is heavy, so just hold it open. <laughs> awesome little truck, but this is a three-wheeler actually. And behind it is Seaview Park, which is this place. <laughs> yeah, you guys must also subscribe if you're listening to this because they all are. That looks like a tennis court and a really cool kids area and a restaurant and oh man this place looks pretty awesome. So this is the super shuttle ferry so you can catch your, buy your ferry tickets here twice a day. Sugbo Maradong Barato. Anyway guys you can read that. And look at what they've got here. Oh, eggs and all sorts. What is that? It's ube. It's ube. Wow. This is ube. Is that what it looks like when it's not purple? <laughs> but you can see some purple on it. Yeah. Ice candy. What is ice candy? Can I have a look? Ooh, I'm definitely getting one. It's five. I've got, I've got. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it looks like ice candy. <laughs> Get one and find out. Ice, ice candy. <laughs> Got myself an ice candy. To eat it. I don't know. It's you... like ice cream in it. Mm. Oh, it's like condensed milk and milk. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow, that is a sweet treat, a shot of adrenaline. Wow. Quite weird. We saw everyone come down. <laughs> Obviously, at lunchtime or something, they're all wearing the same sort of uniform. They've all walked along this wall here, and gone, gone for, for a, a swim. swim, and now I suppose back to work. Yeah. That is Buko Rock Resort, where you can jump off cliffs and things. Looks nearly impossible to get to on our scooter, so yeah. we're not going to do it this time. Looks like behind Ricky there is a shop with some cold water and get all your, well, all your essentials actually. And then this says brewed coffee and dessert, Korean cravings, teas and souvenirs. So this is where the ferry lands and Anna, I'm going to swing you guys around because it does say welcome to Poro up there. And the market is just to the left. That's yeah. the market over there. Yeah, that's the market. And they've got a clock tower and everything. And the bank is straight ahead. So draw your money here first before you go anywhere if you didn't bring enough cash. So you can get a scooter here just up from the port for 500. Love our security will help the clients by moving the bike into the shade for them. Ours luckily is in the shade. So let's get going. This is the poorer town hall and they're all getting all Christmassy. It looks pretty awesome with the Christmas trees and everything. We got Ricky there and uh, a guy with a book. Oh that's Rizal. They actually got a Rizal statue here, statue here. But how festive, they got presents and everything. So this is the poorer town hall and very, very important, they have another ATM here. So if the ATM doesn't work for you over there, you can come to this one. Oh wow, proper old stone church. I'll show you when we get closer, they actually cut out the stone. But I think this is called Stonino because it says I love Stonino there. From behind bars. Check it out. Wow. Uh-huh. Old. But check out the cool stonework, I mean up there as well. This is actually cut out of stone. Oh man, that is epic. Oh look, I didn't even notice the massive bell tower. Oh wow. How awesome is this church? Hey, look at the belfry. Way up there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really nice town. Yeah. There's probably lots not of more things places to here. stay. Okay, like a shrine up there. Yeah, I think there are some places to stay, but they're not like well advertised or anything. And we're off. And here's the church. We might have shown you from the other side. 
We might have just taken a photo. <laughs> Bump. Thanks. Thank you. Come again. See uphill, it says time. uphill. Blind it is. corner. And here we go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Hey. So it is a dirt road. It's just wide enough for a car or two scooters but it's actually all right it's, if you've done it before you don't hit every single bump <laughs> there we go look at that oh wait you've seen it tons of times already Oh man, the sun's just starting to set, but let me just swing you around to show you where we are. Have a look at this place. We're under the umbrellas, that's the Rick. And we've got the food park right behind us. Say everything here is sort of 150, 180. We'll have to see how big the portions are. And you can get like French fries. French fries? And fried onion rings. This is our chef. What's your name? Jane Marie Sir. Wow. Oh, I think we're almost ready. <laughs> Video. Yeah, it should be good. And here we go. So a little bit extra salt and vinegar on the calamari. Here are your calamari, sir. Thank you so much. You. Oh man, as the sun sets, look how many people are taking pictures. Absolutely stunning sunset. Well, this morning the tide is quite high. There's barely even a sandbar. Such an amazing difference. This is the dog from our accommodation and it's so cool because he comes and joins us every time we go, we go for a walk. Ah, that takes you all the way to San Francisco, town proper. The main road. The main road. Oh wow, look at this traditional wooden house because the shutters are wooden as well. Oh, that is unbelievably cool. I wonder how thick the wood is. But how old is this that it's still here? Well, this is one of the big sorry sorries. They have loads and loads of things here. Coffee and snacks. And even and even vegetables. some fresh vegetables, which is pretty cool. And ginger and oh, and here's a mile marker. Kilometer 20 or 60. And this is the road that will take you back to the main beach. Yeah, let me have a look. And there you go. Town proper, 11.4 kilometers. And it is a fun road, guys. It is a fun road. <laughs> Behind us is the Santiago White Beach. That's where we started. We did the whole grid pattern, we did the whole everything else. But it's Sunday morning, so we're going to head up that way. Because I saw a dive center up there, and I want to go check it out. And, and apparently there's a bakery, so if we could get some croissants for breakfast, that would be awesome. <laughs> find a lot of people going out on, on excursions or going back to the, the ferry. There's another homestead. Oh, they have a lot of them. And you don't actually see these on Google Maps. Maybe yeah. this one's not ready yet because it maybe yes. you don't need a painted house to be homestay. Uh -huh. You can come come do the lotto. But it's just hundreds of the, the smaller shops here. Oh, and she has some fresh veg as well. Okay, Hi. Hi. <laughs> and they also got the water here. One peso water. They're actually doing barbecue here at some point. Ah, we're leaving the main part of the town behind us there. But it's a lot cooler up here because there's the cool bamboo, it's bamboo. Dive centers there across the road. I'm just going to swing you guys around because I hear something big coming. <laughs> it's a truck. But it looks a little closed. What a pity. I think I saw them out this morning. Oh, look at that. They're going scuba diving. I did see someone come looking at his dive computer. It's all uphill in the hot sun from here on out. This is Pito Sutical, which is on the beach as a restaurant. And they did say they had some accommodation, so this must be it up here. Yeah, someone didn't like that tree. Uh, well, this piece of road. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back and clear it later. Didn't even know about this place. Ricky's going to have to take photos and put it on the map for you guys. But they have rooms available. Yeah, that's their rate. And look at their views. Like straight out there is the sea. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, we're at the back end of uh, <laughs> Santiago Bay Garden and Resort. You can top all the satellite dishes. Is that a bakery? I smell, smell bakery. Delicious. I smell like jam. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go have a quick look. It smells like baked goods. Yeah, look at all that. What is this? Big Bang. Big Bang. Big Bang. <laughs> <laughs> what is in it? Something sweet? Yeah. Hopia. 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 <laughs> okay. okay, and these things? Francis. Francis. Uh -huh. Those look like little cakes. Yeah. It's cake? So it's like right. Round. Yeah, they're beautiful. Are these, are these different? Uh, is it the same? Open at five thirty in the morning. Are you Hello. sure? Yes. Bakers get up early. Yeah. <laughs> and for those who can't wait to eat their breads, we got a spot in the shade under a beautiful. Is this a mango tree? Golden orb. Oh, it is so smooth. smooth. I don't even know what the. It feels like a macaroon. Oh, is it hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be like that. It tastes like a scone. Like it's, a scone? Uh, yeah, it's got that, that crispy on the outside, like a good scone. Right. You could put cream and jam on that. We've just got to find cream and jam. Yeah, guys, to get the, the fresh, fresh baked goods, it is pretty awesome. And, 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 definitely wa worth the short walk up here. Mm -hmm. And it really is not far. Well, it does look like they got some recycling. And this is the church. There we are. Santiago White Beach Church. It does feel like this is the older building and that's the new one that got destroyed or something like that. We've just come down that road from the great um, bakery <laughs> and the church is there and the pizza is there. The basketball. And now we're queuing up to do our, our intro at the Santiago White <laughs> Beach sign, which you'd have seen at the beginning of the video. I like this beach. It reminds me a lot of Perry Bay Beach, which is kind of our home in Mauritius. So you've got seating under the trees, except you've also got this amazing little piece of food court, which is really cool. It's a stick of ice. <laughs> Five pesos. Awesome. She breaks up a bit so you can put it in your cold drinks. Priceless. Oh, it's too big. One lump <laughs> <laughs> One these. <piece. laughs> Set up the leaves. Oh wow, it's a proper festive event. Look at what we found on the beach. Hey, what's up? Rum, liquor. Oh wow. Let's eat. Oh man. Enjoy guys. There's even a band going. You know? They just need to be a little bit louder. <laughs> Right, so look at these lovely fish we made. No, just kidding. We still have to learn. <laughs> He's got the fish on and some pork. Oh man. Oh man, look what these guys did. <laughs> they gave Ricky a whole fish. So we can taste Filipino fish. Oh, that looks awesome. How amazing is Filipino hospitality? Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go say thank you. Uh -huh. Oh wow, thank you so much. Yeah. Now we get to try it. Yeah. I'll come and let you know how good it is. Okay. <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Check out this fish. It's the one we saw them cooking earlier. I have no idea how you eat it. Just pull some off. I'm just gonna try. Oh look at all oh, that. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. It's like tuna. It's like the same shape as tuna. Yeah, like a little muscly fish. Mm. Nice. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm. It's really tasty. It's not fishy. It's like it is so meaty. It's like mm. one of the meatiest things I've ever eaten, and it, it, it tastes absolutely yummy. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. I hope your company mm -hmm. does really well next year. For sure. <laughs> Go buy their shares, guys. Uh, what's your company's name? Uh, LG. LTU. LT. San Fernando Cebu. Oh man, proper ice cream guy. Oh, what flavor? Ah, uh, mango. Look at how much you get. Mango ice cream for 20 pesos. Definitely getting one of those. Twenty pesos, sixteen scoops, mango ice cream. Awesome! Oh wow! And he showed up on his motorbike and stuff. It's he so did. Cool. He did. You gotta love Saturdays. Mm. I love Saturday. <laughs> this has been such a lovely day. I mean, we love people and culture and seeing how people just 
live their lives and everything. And yes, you could go off and explore seven caves and and all sorts of things and throw yourself off rocks. But <laughs> sometimes just sitting here on the beach, ex yeah. exploring the human. For sure, uh, being a Filipino, yeah. doing what everyone else does. I think that that's what it could be all about. I like it. Fantastic news, guys! The actual the new bathrooms are open and they're great. There's even some soap. Ha. Oh, this is the hall where they're going to play basketball. Are uh, they going to have this fair? Everyone practicing their dancing. As well as uh, markets on Fridays. It's a market. Wow. There's obviously more coming. And they're just unpacking. Actually, they're just unpacking because we've got some clothes and. Uh, Things that the guys still unpacking, and more fruits, and that looks like rice and things. Fresh noodles and this pack That's by so a pre-made pack. It's like a uh, not dry instant noodles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you even got tobacco. Wow, oh. and the leaves, tobacco. Wow. I think I think okay. Those are pumpkins, but I think I think that's the ube. Wow, it's so dark. Anyway, and sugar and dried fish and things. Oh, more fresh fish. Oh, he's got pork. So that's awesome. They got some nice looking fish there. Yeah. They got some great looking pork there. And more fish. Amazing. In the market day, you also get a watch fixer. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Can you bring all your things to be repaired? Yeah. So over there is the sign and everything around the sign and we're just walking down the beach a little bit past all these that you can hire what they called umbrellas uh, I don't know they're about 100 pesos to hire the Santiago Bay garden resorters the overhangy things and all the boats and everything so we finally made it to Pito Sutukil the one on the beach Okay, so I think that's grilled pork. Looks pretty good. I think it's sweet and sour fish. Not sure. And the garlic rice. All in all, actually... It absolutely looks fantastic. I think we got it wrong and I think this is a sweet and sour fish. Okay, it, just, it, it is, does look like a pork chop. That is so good. Sweet and sour fish. That looked like a pork chop. <laughs> oh man, check out that garlic rice. A little bit of the grilled pork. So weird because it looks like a pork chop. <laughs> Get a bit of that sauce on your rice. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. How amazing sweet and sour is that? Mm -hmm. With the garlic. Mm. <laughs> it's just actual pork crackling on the fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm still. Cracking of the sea. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really good. Oh wow, that is still an awesome sunset. Look at that, he grabs crab. He's got a whole crab. This must be the crab. Wow, I was bashing it on the tree. This must be the crabs that make those bubbles in the sea. It's the march. Might not be great weather, but it's a perfect day to go adventurizing. Mm -hmm. There's stuff here, stairs and a thing. That's where we stay. These are our neighbors and they look like the little huts on the beach. And then this. Does look like a great place to take photos. I wonder what that is. This looks a bit washed away. I'll see if I can climb up it. I think I can get up there. The stairs weren't a problem, but look at what I've come up to. It's the platform. How awesome is that? There's also, there's probably a path going that way and, and a wall here, terracing. 
more stairs going in that direction. Oh, you're allowed to camp here, so maybe you could come camp up here. How awesome would this be for a tent? Super cool. I think it's like a lookout. That's massive. You make jewelry from that. Jesus, yeah. Well, it'd be too heavy, wouldn't it? Yeah, you can see some structure here. Of course, they're the stairs. And then there's concrete. So I'm going to go up. Intrepid explorer goes exploring. <laughs> <laughs> Brian discovers the world. Well, I'm up. And there seems to be a boat here. And an old house. And more stairs going up there. But someone's boat is here. And I'm going to come have a look at this. was probably someone's balcony that's got broken. This could have been like a really nice place. Have you got taken out in a typhoon or something? I don't know if you guys know. It must have been quite something. I mean, the location is gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> Awesome! <laughs> Finally get to walk under these overhangs. Oh, low, low tide. Wow. Wow, that's how clear the water is. But check it out. Because it's so low, the staghorn coral actually got exposed. Look at how beautiful that is. I oh, know there's got to be a story behind all this. But it's really interesting to just come down here sometimes and find something fascinating. I must say, this is pretty decent lifestyle in. Mm -hmm. Beer with Sprite and ice. Some fresh fried chicken. Pizza some with hot pizza sauce. from down the road. <laughs> it's just easy living. It's like there's, there's so much footage of the sunset here, but the sunsets here are absolutely stunning. Today we're in San Francisco, but don't expect to see the Golden Gate. San Francisco is an amazing town. We discovered so many things that aren't even on the maps. We ate amazing foods that really tested our comfort zone sometimes. And all oh, speaking of that, we're thinking of introducing a new series. We need your input, so stay tuned for that. And we visited a market that is a must-visit market. With all of this, we put together an incredible lifestyle moment. There's so much to see in this episode. You're going to see a lot of these pictures on Google Maps because they're not added. Yeah, we're in the middle of a field at the moment. Yeah, that's what it says we are. This place doesn't exist. But we discovered it. <laughs> discovered. Brian discovered. That's why I'm in all the pictures. Now we deserve some food. Uh -huh. <laughs> But over here, it looks like there might be some food. Let's go check. So Brian is in love with the pork thing. Let's see, what else is there? Is this noodle? It's noodle. Let me have a look. I got it. Ooh. Oh, it's the type of noodle you like. Those look great. And there's some fried bits. Fish and pork. Uh-huh. Is this maybe fried chicken or something? Oh, is this fried chicken? No. no. We know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big flour. <laughs> Everyone's having a look. Oh, a little fish. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Right. Oh, also. <laughs> we came around the wrong side. If you have a look, it's a little bit too short here. Uh -huh. We're supposed to come around here. Let's go fix our error. <laughs> Forget what you just saw. Look what we found. We should have come around straight away. <laughs> Fried, Fried chicken. chicken. <laughs> also, I think they got soups and things here. I have to try one at a. Carandera. Oh, that's the fish one. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's something big in there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at those bits. Oh, oh wow. Man. We we'll get two pieces of fried chicken. Two, two. One, one of those and one drumstick. Wow, they're Perfect. huge. Massive chicken. Uh -huh. We're going to feast well today, though. <laughs> complicated because we have to film things. Yeah, so. we have to film things, so yeah, it takes yes. a little bit longer <laughs> to get you there. One of the soups. We're going to get a mix. Oh, because we get the bone in this one. This one? The like? pork soup, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's definitely doing that specially for you. Yeah, yeah. I think you can get it just as a small <laughs> bowl as well. We've got that nice piece of pork there. Look at oh, this. Oh, it's so clear and beautiful looking. It is perfect. And you can get this big, like the pork one, where you actually get a piece of the fish in it as well. Yeah, but yeah. We, we don't eat, we want to eat everything, so we've got to get little bits of them. Exactly. Oh, I think this one, we have to go with this one. What is the name? Wow. Oh, it's a 
vegetables. And that gravy. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and some noodles for me. Do you want some noodles or some mixed noodles? The mixed noodle. I love this noodle. <laughs> What is pretty awesome is you can come and try a whole bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. And end up with way too much food. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great, should we get half a cup of rice? Yeah, half, half a cup you know, of rice. You have to have a cup yeah. of rice, a cup of rice. Wow, look oh, at wow. this feast. What did we do? <laughs> As in whose army? <laughs> oh, my words. Wow. Uh -huh. Could it be any better than this? Because you get to just, you know, Eat your soup. Get it, get it. Gotta take photos first. <laughs> <laughs> With such a clear soup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it still is really clear. Mm. Wow. It tastes like green peppers and vegetables and a little bit of uh, fishiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get to try the big soup. I don't know quite how you, do you just take it out and just gnaw on it. But anyway, I'm gonna get some of the soup out of it. Oh, rich and porky. Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh. Put that on the she plate. Gave us a plate, so I assume. You have to somehow try and get into it. Can you just like eat it? I think so. Mm. It's your pork. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's actual pieces of meat on it. Yeah, wow. Noodle time. It's noodle o'clock. <laughs> oh man, these have become Ricky's favorite noodles. <laughs> oh. These taste a lot like Mauritian fried noodle. They've got the same, like the soy sauce vibe. They're very good. They always make these bowls so full. Oh, man. <laughs> but luckily, I've got some rice. Uh -huh. So I'll push my rice to one side a little bit. Get myself some of the pork and gravy. Uh -huh, on top of the rice. No idea what this is going to taste like. No idea. It looks so good though. Mm. Could be sweet, could be spicy. It's really nice. <laughs> See, well, an excuse to eat more pork. <laughs> oh gosh, that is very good. It's like tomatoey, the really good gravy. I think if you were Scottish and you came here, you'd be going, mm. oh, that's great gravy. Yeah, yeah, Dale will definitely do that when you come to <laughs> Come here to come out to Dale and go, oh, it's good gravy. Good gravy. <laughs> and it's awesome. While we've been sitting here, on this road next to the supermarket that doesn't exist yet, um, lots of people come in. It's really popular. It's really, really cool. Little plates, you sample so many things. And it's so good. I'm really getting into the style of eating. Mm -hmm. What's really great is that we're getting out of our rut and I think almost anyone can do it. You come here and you look at this food and the first time we saw it we're like, oh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, and then you're like, like, you know what, just do it. Now we've done it and we absolutely yeah. love it. And it proves that you're never too old to go and try something new. Absolutely. Maybe you're about to retire or something. And just come and do this. Yeah. You get to eat something like this which is just Hopefully we can inspire good. some of you. Yeah, I hope so. I hope Work you it all out. come out and do it. Mm -hmm. All come and go live on a budget, do guys. Do gap year. Gap year, $50, 50 <laughs> a day. <laughs> oh, fried chicken. Really tasty. Just put like, quite a bit of pepper. It's very KFC. Very okay. fatty. Excellent. Awesome. I, I should tell you to ask the price first, but don't bother here on Kamoti's. No, no, they're really, really honest this and awesome. This was $2.40 for all of this, and that big soup was 50 Yeah, beautiful. The chicken is 40 Highly yeah. recommend the chicken. Absolutely it's recommend delicious. it, yes, for sure. Alakbai Eatery. Alakbai Eatery. Awesome. Come and visit these Come guys. Come and check them out. They're going to be on Google Maps if they're not already. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. What a great meal. We went exploring down the street for a little bit. Oh, and by the way, we are starting a new series called could I live here? Yeah, I'd say if you were going to live here, you're going to know this store. Uh -huh. Because they've got all the foods for your pigs and your chickens and... Awesome. Well, it's a pet over a year, 5,600. Yeah, That's but a they're big, like they're 45 big, for the scooter, but they're proper motorbikes. Proper motorbikes. Yeah, these are massive. And actually, that's pretty cool. Across the road, you've got like radiator repairs. So if something happens to your motorbike or whatever, these guys will probably fix it in a heartbeat. Not only do they print on them, they actually make them. Yeah. 
Look at how awesome they look. They can make one in your size. Let us know what you look for in a place to live. Oh, more food than I'm aware. A lot of them have different things, so you can get your one where you get mostly pork. There you've got your spaghetti and macaroni and uh, the, Okay, the, those awesome. Things. Those things. L l lum lumpia. Lumpia, okay. So this place, look at that spaghetti. But have a look at these. Pork chops. Pork chops. Amazing. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. How much are they? Wow, so you really don't have to cook up your lip, yeah? You don't have to cook at all. Unless you feel like cooking. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> More clothing stores. they got really cool Komoti shirts. They really are awesome. We then hopped on the scooter to try to find the San Francisco Public Market. Municipal Hall. <laughs> We're lost. Yeah. <laughs> That's Very good probably time. the market. Uh-huh. Hey, I hate Komotis. <laughs> There's also the, the 39 coffee. Oh wait, we've got some nice people here. Oh no, they're behind a sign. <laughs> oh, this is the, the boardwalk, town proper, San Francisco boardwalk. Because we've got loads of things here. Pasta and pizza. We might just have to have a stop and have a look at that. Korean, it's closed unfortunately. And then the sailor's pub. Oh, maybe there's another way. Oh, there's another way in. So if you come through that way, it's easy enough to get in. We obviously missed that. Because we parked miles away and had to walk through the hot, sweltering sun. <laughs> Pretty cool. House of Punjab. Hello. So first look at market. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Wow, this is a market. So many veg and then meats. <laughs> so let's go see what we need. What we can get. Oh man, fruit, watermelon. Look at that. Uh huh. Perfect on a hot day. Oh, and they got their scale out. Look, it's so clean. It is. It's really it's pristinely clean. The old meats, all the good pieces are gone already. Only the feet left. Look at these. Wow. Oh, great looking fish. And of course, prawns. And little calamaris or squids. They got some nice ones down here. Wow. Look at that mouth. Oh man. That must have been a giant squid. Look how big that is. I was just walking and bumped into the food court. Look at this. Yeah. That's rotisserie and chicken. Oh man, but there's other stuff. Anchors, it's not. No, no, it's anchors, right? But you got loads of other things. Tacos and rice toppers. What are those? As well as some regular stuff. And look at this fried corn dogs. Oh, fried stuff. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. But there's loads to this food court. Oh man, he just stepped out so he said I could have as much as I like. <laughs> Is that pork? Look at that, that's the pork thing. Okay, so they bought all the good pieces. Yeah, that's where all the we'll good pieces are We'll just have to eat pork. theirs. Yeah. We don't need to barbecue ourselves. No, we don't, we just eat <laughs> theirs. Because they're the experts. Oh, and they've got a slightly different type here. Look at that. Oh man, bone in delicious looking. Those ones are looking really good. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. And the chickens as well. Oh man. Just one, Just one. one. <laughs> this is going to be our first Liempo. 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 And they're 2 30 here. That's going to the bone. <laughs> and then all mixed together. We got a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah, no seasoning, sir. 
Okay, so it doesn't have teeth in it. Okay, not perfect. No, oh, wow. Have a look at that. Oh, yes. Oh man, hey. And you got the crispy pork bits and it's hot. Triangle info. For the first time, we've never actually tried it. And I'm, I'm just gonna suck it off the bone here. Oh, it's just like fall apart. That's so soft. Mmm. Oh, wow. I've been cooking that for days. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's so soft, it cut off the bone. Mm. Oh, it, it's so succulent and juicy. <laughs> so juicy and so yum. Mm. Mm -hmm. We we'll finish this, we get another one, we eat that, and then we get another one to take home. <laughs> Travel tips. Yeah. <laughs> take your wet wipes. Very important. Although, although, I'm just going to swing you guys around, they do have a washing station over there. That food court, absolutely unbelievable. And this market, it has everything. In fact, it reminds me of that one we went to the Saturday market in Makati. Yeah, and this should be on your tourist list. You should definitely come here. Ooh, what's that stuff? Definitely gonna go find out what that is. This is actually homemade vinegar. It's like murky, so it's like actually they ferment it and then make it here. Coconut. 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 Okay, awesome, thank you. Yeah, that one, this one. Look at how many tomatoes she's putting in. Yeah, no, that's plenty. That's, it's good, it's good. There you go. Oh man, veggie prize. Look at all that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. oh. And look at what we got! What a fruit haul! Awesome! Got some fried things and oh these are all fried, look at that! And here as well, they, they dip it in like the... It's like orange like they do to those quick quick things, yeah! Oh wow! So out here and you can get your chicken feet as well! <laughs> Still not ready guys! But uh, more other things here and actually these look like quick quicks here! Yeah, proper actual quick quick, and and the sausages and oh wow, if we hadn't eaten all that lamb pole, definitely be getting something here. Well, we got our fruit and veg, but most of the good meats were sold out, so we had to head back to Prince's Hypermarket. Yeah, it's not a field. There's a Prince's. This place is massive. This place is huge, but do they have food? I see things in boxes. I see pretty dresses. <laughs> On champagne, so it's kind of food. Yeah, the type you want to enjoy. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got canned meat, canned fish, breads, hasselulong. Yeah. It is, it's shelves full of it. Uh, is that an olive noodle? <laughs> Pieces of these. Awesome, pork, country style. <laughs> and then some chicken, please. They look huge. They look massive, though. Very. We're going to have a barbecue. We probably need some charcoal. <laughs> oh, those American onions. Look how big they are. Tying up a box for me. Uh, that's it, because here they do it for everyone, not just for me. But how awesome! And then into a little trolley for me, even better. Okay, I'm cooking two of those then, please. You, you. Give us one of those, please. Pia Nono. Pia Nono. Vicky's favorite little Swiss rolls. <laughs> it looks like the good stuff has arrived. Donuts! Awesome! Oh wow! Um, Mama, the warnings are matching. We ate already. Mm. Good donut. <laughs> Sometimes you have to make choices. Do you want to climb on the back, or do you want the box to be on the back? So you're going to be doing the minute without box. <laughs>
We headed home with our shopping to go start our barbecue. The weavers? Oh, they actually look like they're weaving. Yeah, she's actually weaving. Getting the feast together, the barbecue, mm -hmm. most important part, peeling the garlic. Are you hand chopping there, Eric? Yeah, no, I told you, you should have put the garlic press. You should always make space for a garlic press. <laughs> I suppose if I could bring my tongs and my paintbrush, uh, we probably could have made room for a garlic <laughs> press. <laughs> That is one of the problems with this light travel. You have to use all the butter. And it's also not just a problem, it's a great thing. This is going to be that. awesome. Garlic bread on the fire. Double sided. Yeah. This man's doing some kindling. Yeah, neighbors, I'm not sh quite sure what it is over there, but. Let make fire. Great play. Good thing I remembered the paintbrush. Uh -huh. Okay, no, it was Ricky <laughs> remembered. Get some of that garlic butter on it. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Slopping it all over. Oh, wow. Can you smell that? I can. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can, but wow, how awesome is that? So we've met a wonderful girl from Switzerland. Uh -huh. <laughs> Travelling, and she says, come and get this angle. How and she's awesome completely is this angle, right. <laughs> and the barbecue, wow. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Looking beautiful. Man, does it get better than that. <laughs> Those are good coals, actually, bro. It is, and I sort of wish we'd bought more. <laughs> we don't quite have enough no, to cook. No, because then you always don't, you have too much. <laughs> you know you're from Africa? Because you raise your fire for your chicken with a rock and a coconut. And a coconut. Yeah, guys, a little bit late at night, but wow. <laughs> was really delicious. Ah, last look at this beautiful ocean for a while. We're going on this gorgeous little trike up to the lakes. Taking out again. <laughs> <laughs> you got everything, wow. <laughs> Not everything, you still got your handbag and sunglasses. Okay, Let's go. Handbag and sunglasses. Oh, I don't know if I can manage. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this has been amazing though. Bye puppies. See you again next time. I'm sure there will be. In you get Rick. That's a cool one. It is, it's awesome. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Perfect. Thanks Russell. Oh man, this is so awesome. Look at where we're going to be. This is so cool. You can't believe it. Mom, mind, mind your head, Mom. Mind, mind, mind. mind your head, but you're going to step onto a boat there, Rick. My head is normally okay. Let's see and me. There it is. <laughs> it's 1.8. It's 1.8. <laughs> you can tell by me. 1.8. <laughs> but look at this view. Oh, wow. All the way around us. Uh huh. We said goodbye to the sea. Hello, it's the lake. Yeah, I actually want to go diving in there. It looks so appealing. Well, today, unfortunately, we had to take a track all the way from where we were on the beach to the lakes here, which is 400. Yeah, it's a bit steep, eh? But we took advantage of the massive discount that they have here on the weekdays. It's such a good special. It's 1300 for the two nights. But you get a free zip line. And the use of a paddle boat. Yeah, I mean, our budget is $50 a day, which is like 2500 so, yeah, so that's 1000 for our accommodation and transport. We've still got 1500 to spend. And then tomorrow, we, we actually have 2000 to spend almost. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You get one of those. Yeah, I'm, or, I'm ordering <laughs> it. They said I can order it. <laughs> what is a synagogue? A railboard. Very, very interesting menu. So many different things, including like a couple of Western things like Greek salad. I'm definitely going to get one of those at some point. Oh, and all these things actually come with a drink. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this pizza. Oh, it smells lovely. That looks like olives and things. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, wait, there's more. Lechon, Lechon. Kawale. We've never tried it. No, oh, look at that. All for you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh man, we've got a pizza overload. 
Look at this. Oh man, it is so packed full of stuff. What is not on that pizza? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh wow. Gotta get a taste of that. Go man. for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can even taste the kitchen sink. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Weirdly, our resident Italian <laughs> is saying... That's a really nice pizza. It's one of the nicest pizzas I've ever had. It's not sweet at all. It really tastes like pizza. Oh man, Ricky got me a treat. It's called Lechon Quali. Yeah, some people like it better than Lechon. I doubt it. I doubt it could be better than Lechon because, you know, Lechon is Lechon. But check it out. And they've got a great sauce. Oh, that looks like a chili. I, I just want to dip into it. I'm just going to, uh, if you guys don't mind, soak up all that goodness. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. Oh wow. It is so soft. Huh. Mmm. And all that great flavor. Mmm. Oh man. I don't think I've ever eaten anything better. I don't think <laughs> I've ever eaten anything better than that. Wow. <laughs> Your new favorite thing in the Philippines. Bring more lechon koale, please. <laughs> just talking about Thailand. And you'd be sitting here with your feet gnawed and the fish would be nibbling them. Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh, can you see them? They, they actually uh -huh. attack my feet. Come on, guys. I've got a taste for you now. <laughs> oh, ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, I bet Lake Tanar didn't even know they had this attraction. Oh. <laughs> so many fishies. It's fair they don't sell fresh tilapia. They're yummy. Look at this. Oh, tilapia. Home cooking. Oh, they're so helpful. She's helping me carry the bag. I don't have to carry anything again. Definitely oh, man, it yeah. looks incredible. Wow, oh, it looks amazing. So anyway, we're on our way to our room to check in. Stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing this? Man. Oh, loads of stairs. <laughs> Brightly coloured stairs. <laughs> Come on in. Papatasi room tour. Uh huh. Ooh, double bed, extra bed if you're having a fight. <laughs> <laughs> and really important that noise behind what me. What is that I hear? AC. Oh, can you feel the cool? Oh man. Yeah. Got a table. It's got a cupboard even. And your own bathroom. A oh, bit of a step up. This is pretty cool. It is pretty awesome. Oh, we've got room service. <laughs> oh, oh thank, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So awesome. A little kit and some toilet paper. Thank you very much. <laughs> and there we go. It's a thing. It's a thing. Well, it's probably like two brushes. Oh, and look at oh, that. Wow, three in one. This place is the best deal on the island. It is. It's unbelievable. Oh, oh there's more. <laughs> More gifts! Ah, More gifts! <laughs> <laughs> so from the lake, you got some stairs going up. Go, see if there's actually a pool. What does it say? Not 100% sure what this says, how you pronounce it. But what I am sure of is check this pool out. I had no idea this would be here. Uh-huh. Oh wow. They've got slides into the pool as well. No. And they put great art all along these walls. I think they're still building this. Oh and at the pool area they have tons of comfort rooms. But this is what interests me. I'm gonna go up there. But you can see the stalactites and the stalagmites they actually got water on them. Oh, mind the sun. How cool is that? They have actual stalactites. Wow. Stalactites. Oh wow. Actually forming here, genuinely forming. That's amazing. They're making their own cave. Slip and slide down there into that pool. Oh, it's a pity this isn't working. I'd pay a hundred pesos to come and slide down this into the pool with a whoosh whoosh whoosh. Awesome. 
I have PR record. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're getting me while well, I'm getting you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's really bizarre street art. It's like the anaconda from before and the crocodile and like a chicken. Who's going to eat it? That's so weird. Oh, right next to the pool area, it looks like they actually have a function room. Uh-huh. Tables and chairs. Oh, and another restaurant. We're coming down from the restaurant there, and that's where we sat and had a beautiful lunch, I'm saying. But it looks like there's a bit of a walkway down here, into the forest. Yeah. Let's go have a look at what that is all about. Perfectly round. Yeah. Compared marbles with that. Don't touch. It's a puff seed. ball. Seed. Yeah, no, it's a seed. I mean, you're going to get mushrooms here, yeah, sure. Where's yeah, the seed. seed from? Here we're going to take one of these things, the little round things, and I'm just going to stamp on it. Ooh. Oh, this is different. But it's got two compartments. Oh, wow. That looks like a nut. And it's got a little nut inside so each I'm compartment. I'm not going to eat one, but we'll try to find out what it is. Yeah. It Maybe looks it's like, like a macadamia. A, <laughs> it, it weirdly looks like an uh, acorn. Yeah, I would inside. say macadamia. Okay, macadamia. <laughs> I'm being hopeful here. <laughs> Tropical island. Mmm. Wow, there's loads of those seeds. Okay, don't go with that. Yeah, you always seem to in the Philippines. If you go for a walk, a dog will follow. What's at the end of the road? Oh wow. Maybe it's someone's house. Pretty cool. Yeah. With tables and chairs on the right on the the lake. Look at these plants. That's like some sort of a Jurassic Whoa. fern. And a monster thing. Amazing. Yeah. Super Jurassic y. But it is actually like um hard. <laughs> really. I mean this is pretty cool. It's like it's cool walking on, on you're going for a walk basically, but it's not overly hot. Well, Ricky went and quickly looked it up, and this is the Lake Tanau walking trail. Yeah, because I don't like walking into nowhere without knowing. <laughs> so how big is this? Do they say how long it is, or do you have to go? Uh, not much longer here. So we're in the middle of Komoti's Island. Uh, here's where the whole thing is, and this is where this trail starts. So okay. I'd say we've gone a little bit more than halfway. And it goes a little bit further. Unless, huh? of course, it goes further, and Google just hasn't bothered to put any more on. Hmm. Yeah, so another great thing to do in Komoti's is to come hiking. Here's a little, yeah. uh, an easy hike around this is, Lake Tanau. This Denau. is kind of hiking island. Like. Uh-huh. Like a pathway. <laughs> <laughs> but it is pretty cool. I mean, I assume if you wanted to get adventurous, you could go off the path. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Stay on the path, guys. Look how there's spiders. I just got to point out, I think this is actually like man-made because there's cracks in it. But it's made to look like a tree-lined edge of the road. Whoever made this really really had an attention to detail and a vision that is incredible well if you were a kid you'd climb out on that sit on that branch and look at your view it's pretty cool rick but come come have a look there's a cave system here yeah you can actually go spelunking no. look at that all sorts of creepy crawlies moving around in there Oh, it looks like it's going to pour with rain imminently. I think we better head back. The main path has sort of ended, but it does still seem to have a path going through here. So I'm just going to carry on a little bit and see what happens. Maybe it... I don't know. It looks pretty cool up ahead. So I'll carry on. Ricky's going to slowly head home. Oh, something happened here. Look at these coconut trees. And that one. Into the, into the waters. Wow. Maybe a cyclone came through or something like that. Skeeters have found me, so high tailing it back. <laughs> More palm trees. These ones look okay. And the path really does still keep going. It obviously goes a lot longer than what Google says. Miles away down there. Come on. <laughs> Cornetto <laughs> by the lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. 
that's where we are. It's gonna get a sunset. Coming towards sunset time, but something very interesting happens in this place because apparently everyone goes home at five o'clock. We have to see what happens. <laughs> Maybe we can just use this pool then. Yeah, free pool. <laughs> Birds. They don't know what's so great about that tree, but mm -hmm. that's where they went. <laughs> well, at sunset, it feels a little, um, I don't know, Lake Placid or something. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the giant crocodile to come. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the anaconda. in the morning. There's absolutely nobody here. I'm trying to find some hot water to get tea. I'm really not sure what to do. <laughs> There's no way to get any water. <laughs> Found a kettle. It's not plugged in. Can I just take it and plug it in? Oh, I don't know. Well, this cool guy showed up like me. And he's like, you don't have hot water in your room? He's like, no, I don't. But he's boiling my kettle. Well, 7 a.m. Got myself some tea brewing. Quite a pleasant environment. Oh, I don't know how we missed this yesterday. I think that's an actual snake. Yeah. It's not quite an anaconda, but wow. Is it massive? I'll just move back so you can see the tiny little rick next to the massive. I think it's like an albino Burmese python or something. Oh. Monkeys. It's a monkeys. Hey, buddy. You can you got a heart attack? And there's some other ones. On the sign it says it's a wildlife sanctuary and stuff. So I assume all these animals have probably been rescued. Probably not the pigeons though. <laughs> Hello bunnies. <laughs> no, not, not a shallow hill. No, no, it's really steep. Wow. <laughs> so if you look at us sideways, we actually like at a strong, strong <laughs> angle, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very pretty though. This is Komoti's Riding Club. Such a pity it's actually closed now. I saw pictures with the horses and these carriages. Oh, what a pity. Walking along the road. Looks like there's some stuff up ahead. Maybe there's breakfast. Oh, this looks like a sorry, sorry. Obviously selling a lot of stuff. But it does look like you can get your regular tenduai and things. And, and some noodles and coffee and what what's. Well, they can be quite cantankerous. And there's a baby one. <laughs> I'll, I'll go get the footage. That's a buffalo with a little baby buffalo. And I assume that's the big daddy there. Oh, who knows, but they buffalo. Awesome. And a baby one, our first buffalo. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. It's actually a loom, old wooden loom. Still being used, I mean, it's not old. It, it's a new yeah. loom, but it's old style. That is so cool. The grass mats. This is a slightly closer up of the loom. It's like really old school wood with the new modern fibers and things, but look at what they're weaving. <gasps> it's like one of those grass mats. And they've got all the different colors here. And the regular color. That is so cool. Oh man, look at this. Wow. And, and, and wait for it. The little one coming up on the rear. Hey buddy. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Is male, female, and baby. Yeah. Yeah. Cat moves out of way for buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> we 
really, really, really beautiful gardens and things. Grass and people really looking after their places here. They do, it's like really beautiful here. It's Stunning. worth it just to come out and walk along here. It is. It's like wow, you know, so many and things you to see. And you see so many things. And I love this. Okay, these are the enroll now, but when people, Brian will show you one. <laughs> when you get a good grade or become an engineer or something, posters get put outside your house. Really nice to celebrate. I think it's a really small goat. <laughs> good morning. It's so cute. <laughs> it's the tiniest little thing ever. Forest environments yeah. and cows and chickens. So cute. <laughs> it's got loads. Well, there's an awesome basketball court here, and it also designates as far as you're going to walk here. Yeah, yeah. Because it just looks like nothing but tree lined road down that way. Cunningly hidden. And its mom and they have been playing like so nicely. See, they're on now. See, the camera's on. <laughs> oh, she's gonna punish you, the young one. <laughs> gotta stop and look at a pretty pathway. Yeah. I wonder what lies at the end of it. God, son. And spider webs. <laughs> it's still cold, I think I'll get another one. <laughs> one peso water machine. It works. Make sure it's full. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. <laughs> Just done from the one piece of water. <laughs> There's always going to be a micro motorbike on this road. <laughs> it's a busy road. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there's bugs in the trees. Oh, that's a duck. It's the first time we've actually seen a duck. That's not inside an unborn egg. It's pollute. It's pollute. It got too big. It got away. It's <laughs> <laughs> also a piggy. Yeah. Also wants its breakfast. <laughs> oh, what a lovely walk. A little bit of forestiness. Kids obviously play on the road. Yeah. Door things. It's like really time gone by almost. Animals and farming. It's it's really pleasant. It's very pleasant. I think that's the word I want to use. It's like calm, it's cool. Yeah. And you're seeing some interesting things. Yeah, that you don't normally get to see, especially if you live in a city. Yeah. Super nice. This is really one of the prettiest approaches yeah. to a park or anything that I've seen. It's really nice. Because it goes downhill so you can see yeah. it nice and clearly <laughs> as the road extends. Love it. We're going to take a picture in front of it. Okay, well, we didn't find any food. So hopefully there's staff back <laughs> at the restaurants oh, and we can maybe, lunch. I don't know, get a bag or something. <laughs> what bird, Ricky, what bird? <laughs> Oh, 
nice. Don't know how to get more out. So, she did say that the lechon is fried. She didn't so, say that it was kind of um, decimated. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if it tastes any good. Quite a lot of chili in that, Rick. Ooh. Got a bit of mess <laughs> in the noodle there. Oh, awesome. <laughs> it looks like low clear noodle. Yeah, there's like a bit of pork in there as well. Okay. Let's see. Hot. Wow, oh, hot. Mm. Good. Mm. Crispy lechon skin. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that didn't get fried. Mm. Mm. That's right. Okay. Awesome. Mm. Some pieces of meat. I'll break it apart with my fingers. Oh, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It tastes all right. Yeah, it's, it's good flavour. Mm -hmm. That's actually quite a good looking chop. Yeah, I know it is. Hopefully, yeah. it's not overcooked. It could be. Oh, 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 that looks so good. Yeah, you don't have a knife, so you yeah, can't you... blame me. No, no. no. That looks like mm -hmm. good pork. Oh, <laughs> mm. oh nice. Mm Hours of entertainment. So over there is the entrance with the flags that we came in on. Well, this is where you come and pay your 50 pesos to get in, but they have banana chips. Look what I'm getting. Oh, oh, oh. 20 pesos. Yes. <laughs> we are. A banana and a camotes. I got the banana and the camotes. Look at Thank that. Thank you. Awesome. How cool is that? Got snacks. I just want to open it and eat it now. It's an actual camotes chip. Mm. All right. Impossible to open. But it looks like a real chip. Oh, wow. But it smells like a sweet potato. Is it going to be crunchy? Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, it's sweet. And it's sweet. <laughs> Onto the lake. Oh, even some awesome... Uh, souvenir t-shirts. It's actually the San Francisco oh. Women's Association. And check out these awesome t-shirts. They're like 180 each. It's a really lovely toilet block. <laughs> well, what is the interview for? Is it for uh, your school or university yeah, or something? Yeah, uh, for traditional purposes. For your final exam. Yeah. So that's cool. What school are you from? Uh, um, um, the Cebu Technological University. Okay, Cebu Technology. We used to drive past it yeah. in our bus all the time. Yeah. There's only one way to do this, and it's like this. <laughs> but these are the legend people. <laughs> and that's Buck, their dog. Hey, Buck. Oh, man. Check out the crocodiles. Totally skipped happening with that crocodile in a minute. Wait for Ricky to get you. Yeah, but let's see if we go and get Ricky with the Lake Danau. <laughs> There's also an anaconda. There was an anaconda. Look at this! I didn't even see him! Oh, I almost bit my leg off! <laughs> yeah. Wow! I'm afraid! I'm about to you. <laughs> <laughs> Does it mean that there are crocodiles in here? Yeah, no, they're crocodiles, but you can swim, they don't eat everyone. <laughs> that leaf looks like it is desperately trying to fly away. <laughs> Get on there, guy. Get on there. <laughs> Fish bomb. It's like wherever you look, someone is growing koi. Here are some more. Uh, Lakeside Vendors is there. He has buko juice. And then we have a shake station. That also has a lot of food. Okay, so whether you order from here or down there, you can go sit by the lake. Everybody's friends. Oh, yeah, she did come and say they didn't have a hot dog bun, and Brian is fine with it on a burger bun. And they did come and like, yeah, press it, which is kind of oh, cool. And they cut up the sausage on the inside and toasted the inside. Look at that. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> Fries. 
Oh man, hey, it's a thing. The biggest thing in the Philippines of the legend. <laughs> They're this. I love that. Uh, she said it was cheese, I think. Mm -hmm. Makes them taste like knickknacks, like Cheetos. Oh, we wanted to sprinkle it on. <laughs> oh, yum. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh so man, much. they look so good. How amazing, with a little bit of salad and everything. Yeah. You know what it is? I think it's like when you get the pork at the street food and then you get the vinegar with the, the stuff in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what they're kind of doing. You brought me some soy, so. Mm -hmm. mm. Does it taste like from the street? Mm -hmm. Perfect mix. Mm -hmm. okay. But still, yeah, it doesn't get old. You know? Yeah, Arlene, we haven't actually shown her, but she has yeah. been an absolute godsend. She does everything you need. Yes. What well, we messed up on the first night, she has she corrected on the second night. We've got drinking we've got, water, we've got, we've got coke, glasses, I've got, got, got my kettle. Ricky's got a kettle, so she's already automatically happy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to leave tomorrow. I mean, yeah. we don't have to, but, but we kind of do because there's a cyclone potentially coming. You know, I must say, with all the, with all the quirks and stuff, Somehow yeah, it's weaseled its way into my heart. Well, it's starting off well. Uh, Russell's arrived early, so <laughs> everything's going good. Up in Rick. And here we are, arriving safely at the port. Now we just have to get a ticket. Hopefully, they got space for us. And there's the boat. It's heavy. It's very, and it's breaking. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, and this is Russell guys. I'll leave a link to, to his business down below. Go check it out. Well, the port does have a lot of things. Some nice snacks. Some coffees. 39 cup of coffee. Uh -huh. Early morning stuff. Need that. And some banana chips. But yeah, it doesn't actually open at uh, 7 o'clock when we got here. I think you have to wait until like 7.30 or something. And of course, this is one of the waiting areas, and there are tons of people, so hopefully we we able to get a ticket. So just down from the ticketing office, if you come down here, there's an actual convenience store. So if you forgot anything, uh-huh, or you can even get a beer. But it is, it is still 7 o'clock in the morning, so we won't get a beer right away. But they have everything you need, including chips and, and breakfast if you need it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so don't worry if you didn't get your cold juice. You can come get some here. Tickets is opened. Buying the key at the back of the key. <laughs> we found someone from Switzerland here. <laughs> really? Hi. So you also going today? Huh? Are you going today? No, but I mean, like I wanted to catch the five thirty, but it okay. got fully booked, so okay. I got Okay. There's a five thirty in the morning. Yes. Wow. There is a 5.30. Now I don't make it <laughs> uh, anymore uh. today. And right here in the terminal is a pay and stay cafe, which I've been promised is air conditioned. It's so, let's go so, oh, wow, it's so nice in here. <gasps> yes, this is where you want to live. Come pay and stay for sure. <laughs> a new ferry has arrived and a whole bunch of new people are coming to enjoy Kamotis. Awesome. Welcome, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> And your tickets in. <laughs> oh man, oh look, they're bringing a big <laughs> beautiful waters and a lot of stairs. Oh, everyone's aboard. Hi. So if you come in your car, you get to stay in it. <laughs> but we're underway, we're underway, we're leaving. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we're saying bye bye to Komotis now. Bye, buddy. We will see you again. We're saying bye bye to Komotis today, but, but we are starting a new adventure. <laughs>